He has been on a diet since we got him. He thinks it's snack time. <laughs> Cousin is a white tree frog that came to us back in 2019. These frogs weigh 40 to 50 grams for a large one. He weighed 144 grams when he first came in. He was bamboozled. Oh, <laughs> I am Nicole with the Wild Reptile Rescue, and this is Cousin's Story for GeoBeats. We are a 501c3 nonprofit reptile rescue in North Carolina. We take in animals that people can't take care of anymore. Cousin is unusual because he is so big. His owners who donated him, they rescued him from someone. He was actually too big to live with their own frogs. I swear he like breaks out of his cage and steals snacks in the middle of the night. We are at least his fourth home. He's been transferred from home to home a lot. He has special instructions now because... See? Yeah. We have never seen another frog that would be big enough for him to live with. Right now, he is down to about 120 grams. Talking to our veterinarians, he probably can't lose weight very well for a few reasons. One, his limbs have been curved because he doesn't have enough calcium or he didn't in the past. So he can't really climb and hop like a regular frog can. He's really not as active as most frogs are. He also has chronic condition. He sees the vet every few months, but our vet thinks that parasites may impact how his body kind of metabolizes all of his calories and it may make him prone to being overweight. He's just kind of a goofy frog. Whenever we are around these frogs and we're being really loud, they will they will call back at us. They think we're another frog essentially. So they can be really interactive in their own way. He gets very excited when he sees food. His throat kind of starts to flutter a little bit and he just can't aim really well. And I don't think he can really hear the same way that humans can. They actually have um, like skin covering up their ears called a tympanum. We mostly just kind of leave him to live his life in his enclosure. Every animal has value. Since we humans are the ones that bought them from the pet store or took them out of the wild, we owe it to them to have a good life. Johannes is a veiled chameleon that was found outdoors in someone's backyard. We had never seen a chameleon in condition that poor, and he actually has made a really good recovery. I really like working with snakes. They're usually really calm and docile and good with people. She's just gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous snake. So, so pretty. They're gorgeous snakes. Anubis is one of my favorite cases. He is 18 years old. He was owned by a couple and they surrendered him to us because they couldn't really take care of him anymore. The fun fact frog shed just like a snake, there's just supposed to be nutrients in that shed and they will actually eat it. Frogs can live 15 to 20 years, so quite a long time. And we don't know how old Cousin is. Cousin was probably originally wild caught in Indonesia. Um, so aside from the logistics of shipping him back to Indonesia, there are a lot of laws about releasing animals that are already in captivity. He really would not survive in the wild, so he has to stay in captivity, unfortunately. He's been on several courses of medication pretty much consistently. It's just a very difficult, lifelong treatment, but we really put a lot of work into every single animal that comes into us because every animal has as much value as to us, like a cat or a dog.